Hello, and welcome to this video of Odoo, brought to you by Confiance, a gold partner. Today we will be covering invoices, but before we begin, we need to go to settings and make sure our company information is correct. So let's begin. We'll first head down here and go to settings. Next we'll want to come up here to users and companies. Companies. We'll go to the demo company. Here you want to make sure all your information about your company is correct, because this is going to be used on every business document in Odoo. We'll even put in our business logo. Next we'll go to the general settings. Next we'll come down here to document template. This is where you can set up different templates. We'll go ahead and select that. And here you can see several different templates that it offers you. You can also add a tagline if you want. We'll just say the demo company. And you can also add a footer if you like. We'll keep it on this one for now and hit save. Now we will return back to dashboard. And because this is a demo instance of Odoo, it also installed the accounting module, which absorbs into itself the invoicing module. So we'll go to the accounting module. As you can see, it includes the customer invoicing, the vendor bills, banking, cash, and POS sales journal. The first thing you want to set up for invoicing, though, would be go under configuration and go to payment acquires. Here is where you can set up any payment method that you require, but we're going to go ahead and set up PayPal, so we're going to install it. Now that it is installed, we'll go ahead and set that up. Now up here in the top right, you can publish and unpublish this just by clicking this button up here in the top right hand corner. So now it's published to your website. And we'll come back and show you how to set this up later on in the video. First, let's go back to accounting. And we'll make a new invoice. Now we'll add a new customer line item, so we'll go ahead and choose a new customer, and we'll say that they are ordering, we'll say customizable desk, and they want 10 of them. We'll go ahead and save that. Now, just like in any of the other videos you've watched, you can preview it right off the bat in Odoo. And the nice thing about that is you can go ahead and see exactly what your customer is going to see. So you can go ahead and review this and make sure it looks right for how you want your invoicing letter to look. Also up here you can see it includes all the information we made sure was correct earlier, including your demo logo, your company name, the address, all your information. Because this is a company portal, your customers can also download or print. And we're going to go back to the edit mode. Now that we're back here, we can go ahead and validate. And as you can see, it moved it up in the line. Also, you get more options on the back end. We can now send and print, register payment, add a credit note, which you don't want to do until payment's been received, or preview again. Also, on preview again, you will now see pay now, which your customer will see through the portal. Also, when you send and print, it will send an email to them, which will lead them back to that portal that we saw in the preview. If your customer, however, didn't want to pay online and they instead showed up to the shop to pay, you can also come up to register payment. And we'll go ahead and let them pay that way and validate. And you can come down here and see it's been paid. And if you come down here and click this I, it will even show the payment method. And if they paid online, it would show it here as well, depending on what they chose. Now we're going to go up and send a receipt back to the customer. So we'll go up here to send and print. And we'll go ahead and send it. But you also have the option to send by post if you want. Yeah, we'll go ahead and send it by email though. Now what if the customer wants a refund because they ordered the wrong thing? Well, you come up here to add a credit note. And we'll say ordered wrong item. And we'll go ahead and create the credit note. And here you can see it listed in the system. So we'll go ahead and select that. And you can see all the information right here. We'll go ahead and validate. And you have all the same options up here. We'll go ahead and register payment because we do need to actually pay back the customer. And we'll validate that. 
and as you can see it's paid out in the system. Now that we've seen how to do this through the inventory app or the accounting module, you can also do this straight through the sales module. So we'll go back to dashboard and we'll go to sales. Then we'll come over here to create new quotation. We'll select coin and a new product. This time we'll say that he wants whiteboard pen and he wants to order a hundred of them. Go ahead and save and close. And we'll save that. Now we will go ahead and confirm it. And create a new invoice. Now, if you had it set in configuration so that the product had to be delivered first, when I went to go hit create and view invoices, it would say there is no mailable invoices to send out. But because we don't have that set up for that instance, we'll go ahead and create. And as you can see, it created a new invoice. We'll go ahead and validate that. And just like the other view, you have the same settings here that you had back in the invoicing setup. So as you can see, it was super simple to make an invoice no matter which application we were in, and it's integrated throughout the entire system of Odoo. You will get the same uniform look throughout no matter which application you are having to do an invoice in, and it just makes it simple and easy on the user. Now let's cover payment terms and terms and conditions. We'll first return back to accounting, where invoicing is all-encompassing inside. We'll go to configuration, and we'll go to payment terms. Then we'll come up here to create, and we'll say 2% discount before 10 days and full price for 30 days. And then we can come down here and add a description to that. 2% discount before 10 days, otherwise full payment before 30 days. Then we'll come down here and add a line. Then we'll come up here and we'll go for percent. We'll say 98% needs to be due before 10 days after the invoice is sent. We'll save and close that. Now this needs to go above balance because balance needs to be the total balance due at the end of service. So we'll go into balance as well and it needs to be at 30 days. So we'll save and close there and save here. Now before we create an invoice using this, we'll go back to dashboard, we'll go to settings, go back to general settings, and we'll go back to our document template, and at our footer, we will say terms and conditions at www.demo.com. And we'll save and we'll return back to accounting and make a new invoice. All right, we'll go ahead and also add our new customer and we'll select the terms that we had created. As you can see, it creates the new due date. We'll go ahead and set a line item. And you can also place in terms and conditions down here. We'll go ahead and save that. And we'll validate it. Now if you go to preview, here's what your customer will see. And as you can see, it also includes the 2% discount and the terms and conditions you added at the bottom. And it creates a really nice clean look overall. Next, we'll go further into payment options to allow your customers to pay you in multiple different ways. This could be because of security concerns with them or they may have their credit card already linked into certain ones and not other ones. So first we'll go back to accounting or invoicing app if you have it directly and not the accounting app. We'll go back to configurations and settings and then we'll scroll down here 
and we want to activate Invoice Online Payment. This will let your customers be able to pay their invoices when they receive them. Next we'll save that and then we we'll want to go back down again to General Settings. Again open the Document Template. Here you would actually want to include your banking routing number and account number so that people can pay you via check if need be. And we'll save that. Next we'll come over here to configurations, payment acquirers, and as you can see I have many already set up. We're going to go ahead and set one of these fully. We'll go to configure. Now here you would want to enter in for PayPal your PayPal email ID, PayPal merchant ID, PayPal DDT token, and you can choose to use your PIN or not. You can set up the direct website to your website. And here you can even include a thank you message. You can also set up a pending message, done message, cancel message, and an error message. Also under configuration, add extra fees, specific countries that you only accept from, and support and payment types. You can add and remove these as you like. And we're going to go ahead and save this. And we're going to go up here to customers, invoices, and we'll choose one of the old invoices. And as we can see, this one's already been validated. So we'll come up here to preview, which again takes us to where we had sent out the invoice via email. Your customer would come back to this page on your website, but now they have the option to pay. And as you can see, it includes the payment acquirers we set up. We'll go ahead and close this and return back to desktop. And that will be all for this video of Odoo. Thank you for joining us again here at Confiance. If you would like a more in-depth demonstration, please contact us. We will be happy to arrange one and start the process of helping you and your business run more smoothly than it ever has before. Have a wonderful day.